people are hungry, the economy is not safe, there is inflation, so many problems. All we're interested is they should sit down and get their hearts together. Concerning the president's speech, he did not address the key issues as it relates to what the protesters are actually asking for. The common man is hungry. And that's what everyone is asking for, coming out in mass to say, please, just take hunger away. From watching this speech, I feel like the president tried to address the issue. But the, the situation is, is at a point whereby people need, need a change immediately. It might not be that effective, but they were able to express their feelings to the government. So protest and at the same time dialogue is needed. People are suffering, they are hungry. Everybody is hungry. Even if you are wealthy amongst the poor, they will still come for you. That's what is happening now. We are expecting the best from him. We pray that he performs better than what he's doing right now. And I pray that Nigeria gets better. Do things that make the common man we see on the streets. What concerns me daily is I have to come to work, I have to, my transport. My transport now is time steady of what it used to be before. So if I have to come to the streets every day, enter bus, enter whatever, and now I have to pay time steady of the money I used to pay before. So that is what concerns me. A matter of food, very, very important, and make life easy for people. Common man as it is right now is thinking of what they are going to eat um, in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, they need a solution that is going to be immediate. People need to see an immediate change. And until that happens, it will only seem like the solution is far away. So I get that he was trying to make um, adjustments and sort, sort of discuss on what um, solutions can be in the future. Probably three months from now, six months from now, or even years from now. But people need an immediate solution to their hardship. I, I think the process is justified. The thing is, um, people can only complain and the government may seem far off from what the people are going through. You understand? So I feel like that is a way to put pressure on the government to make them see and really feel what people are going through every day. When people talk about what they are going through, the main thing they expect from the president is to, to be open about how it's going to be resolved. I think that is the reason why everybody has still things up to now. But from the president, uh, expression is just like uh, okay you people shouldn't bother to protest everything is going to be all right and still we don't feel the impact of things being all right yet one of the ways this true protest whether they like it or not it's now left for the government to do or to dance to the tunes of the world of the masses we have the right to protest to demand what we need many things need to be amended but Mr. President was still sell, telling us to calm down. How long are we going to calm down? It just addressed the major point of the issue about Nigeria. The main purpose of the, um, the, the protest is not go for the petrol prices. You know, we have inflation. We also have a lot of problems that we, we are facing in Nigeria. Everywhere is people are hungry. Nigeria cannot change for one day. It has to take process. With the level of hardship and the presentation of things on ground, so I was expecting some positive response. Talking about the scarcity of food, okay, with this also period of time, there's going to be a solution to it. So definitely at least people is going to have the intention and they are going to have the, the positive assurance that with time things are going to change. So I believe at least one of the system of government that is very closer to people now is our local government. Your local government chairman, go to the front of his house. Go and tell him, we are the one that voted for you. Several bags of rice has been distributed to all states in the, in the country. So presently now, where did they distribute the rice to?